So I'm the type of person that likes to invest a lot of time and money in the things that I use, especially if it's on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's why I'm always interested to see what people are using for their everyday carry, what they have in their pockets. But there's one thing, I absolutely hate having a bunch of stuff in my pockets. Like the feeling of sitting down at dinner and just having a bulky pocket with like your wallet, phone, keys, mask, all that stuff, it just gets annoying to me and that's why I have a fanny bag. Like it or hate it, I don't care what you think. I absolutely love this thing and we're gonna talk about why. One of the main reasons I use a fanny pack like this, besides the fact that I hate putting stuff in my pockets, is because I'm consistently forgetting stuff. I hate walking all the way to my car and forgetting my car key, or going all the way to the store and forgetting my wallet. Oh wait, we have Apple Pay. But wait, this store doesn't accept Apple Pay, even though it's 2021. <laughs> Long story short, I'm consistently forgetting stuff, things are on my mind, and having a fanny pack is super nice just to grab and go. You don't have to think about it, you literally grab your bag, walk out the door, and you're ready. In addition to that, I like the fact that you're able to put some extra things in here. I'm now a dog dad, and I can put poop bags in here, so if I'm walking through the city, and my dog decides to take a dump in the middle of the sidewalk, well, I'm not gonna be embarrassed because I actually have a poop bag to clean up my dog's mess. It's just nice for putting those extra things in here you wouldn't expect that you would wanna carry throughout the day, just like receipts and just random things. It's super helpful for that. Lately, I've been digging the all black minimal theme and that's why I went with the Air City Sling. This just looks super sleek. I like it because it doesn't look like those fanny packs from the 80s that you wear in your waist. This one, I wear over my chest. I like the look of it. The quality materials are phenomenal. I'm pretty sure it's actually water resistant because I've had this thing in the rain and my stuff definitely stayed dry. The zippers feel great. They even have like a waterproof material or water resistant material over here. Just everything feels quality when you're holding this. So if it's something that you're gonna have on a day-to-day -day basis, you want it to feel nice. You want to feel confident wearing it. And I definitely do with the Air City Sling. In addition to this giant buckle on the main strap, it's really easy to adjust, even when it's on your body. So that's really nice, you can pull it tighter. And one of the cool features about this bag that I haven't seen on many other bags is it actually has this little strap here on the side, which brings it even tighter. So that way, if you have anything heavy in here, it's not gonna be flopping around and being obnoxious. And I almost forgot to mention, I have this little mini clip on the side of my bag here, it's called the Hero Clip Mini. And I discovered this from a channel called Accessorize Me. And what's so cool about this thing is that it folds out into this little hook. So let's say you're going out to eat and you don't wanna wear your bag, it may be in the way or whatever. You can simply hook this onto the chair that you're sitting on or whatever, and it's out of the way, but still secure and next to you. Oh yeah, quick side note, if you wanna pick this thing up or anything I feature in this video, be sure you check out the description below because I'll have everything linked there. Let's dig into what is inside this bag now. It has a lot of different little zippers and pockets and that's what I really like because it's not like just one giant thing where you throw all your stuff into. I feel like I should just put this thing on so that way you guys can see what it looks like and also how easy it is to actually access the pockets. Um, we can start off in the front here with my like quick access pocket. That's where I actually have my keys. So in here we have my car key and additionally this really cool key organizer from Orbit Key. This is where I keep my apartment key, my mailbox key, and also this bottle opener slash like tool thing. It's really neat because it keeps all your keys together. They're not jingling and jangling around and being completely obnoxious. I don't know about you guys, but I hate a key ring where the keys are just flopping around. One of my biggest pet peeves. So that's about it in the front compartment here. It even has this little like key clip thing. I don't really use it that much, but it's cool if you want to keep your keys extra secured in case you accidentally like leave the zipper open. You won't drop any of your keys out. But moving on over to the main compartment, I want you to quickly listen to the zippers on this bag. Like here, ready? I'm gonna put it up next to the mic. <laughs> Tell me that that's not a satisfying zipper. <laughs> Anyways, on the inside here, we have a couple of items. This is my iPhone 11 Pro. I have it in the silicone case from Apple. 
I really like the silicone one because it's just simply more durable. I've been using this phone since it was released and to be entirely honest with you, I have very few complaints. The camera on this thing is so freaking good. There are so many times where I just don't even take my main camera, the EOS R. I just use this. So when I'm going out hiking or when I'm traveling and trying to be more in the moment without carrying a big old camera around, this thing comes in clutch. But also in this bag here, we have a little side thingy. I don't even know what to call it, a flap where I keep my mask and I, of course, have an all black mask. Also in here, there's some zippers, little pockets. Uh, in here, I have the Benchmade bug out. This knife is phenomenal, again, in all black. I absolutely love how light it is. Back when I had it in my pockets, I always forgot that it was in there. A lot of people complain that it's like plastic feeling. That's actually intentional. So that way it is lightweight and perfect for EDC. But this thing is nothing but quality and I absolutely love it. I've been using it pretty much every day for Amazon boxes, random cutting needs. Like you'd be surprised how helpful having a knife on your person is. Just having it there and ready to use as a tool whenever you need it. And as I said, there's actually another little zipper inside of the main compartment. And that's where I like to have my dog's poop bags, as well as some extra cash. Um, I don't really like to carry cash in my wallet because I like a nice slim card holder. We'll get to that in a second, but that's just where I like to keep some things like this that I don't really access that often, but I also don't want to be able to lose or anything like that. They're just nice in a way. So let's zip up this main compartment. And before I get to the last pocket in the back here up against my chest, I wanna talk about my watch. And this is the Seiko SKX 007J. Now this thing, it's very popular in the EDC community for a lot of reasons. I like it because it actually charges with the motion. So that's pretty fancy. It just looks really nice. And honestly, I couldn't really ask for more. It's a nice, simple, you can dress it up, you can dress it down kind of watch. On the watch band here, we actually have just this really cheap nylon NATO band, and I like the look of it, and it's super cheap. So if I mess it up or whatever, I can get another one for, I think it's 20 bucks or something stupid like that. Moving on to the last back pocket over here, I just wanted to make a quick note about Air's attention to detail. Everything about this bag just feels like premium material as it's hugging up against your body. It just feels nice, you know? Like these zipper pulls, they just feel like a premium material that's not gonna break. Over here in the back compartment, we have my wallet. And it's actually just a card holder because I don't like fat dad wallets. Not a big fan. This one is from Andar and it's called the Fin. Like everything I've talked about today, I've put this wallet through the ringers. My dog has stolen this off of the countertop shredded a bunch of cards in here. It has a little bit of battle scars, but it is still standing. So I gotta say in terms of durability, it's pretty good. It survived from my dog, even though it has a couple teeth marks here on the side. I love how small, slim, and minimal the design is. It's an all black, of course. I like how you can tap to pay without even taking your card out of the wallet. It has two little slots for the cards that use the most on either side. Additionally, it has this middle compartment where you can put the rest of your cards, your ID, things that you don't use as much. And in that compartment, you can also put cash. So it's expandable and you'd be surprised how much this thin little wallet can hold, especially for the price. And our fin, highly recommend. So, fanny bag, yes. If you're worried about what people may think of you if you're gonna wear one of these, confidence is key. When you rack this thing, you gotta be able to walk down the street like you own it, because you do. And if you're still concerned, go and tell them that Poppy said you're allowed to wear a fanny pack. You, you do you, because Poppy said you can do you. But in all seriousness, guys, I can't see myself going back to putting all my crap in my pockets, because it drives me nuts. When I go out the door, I have everything I need right here. I don't have to think about it. And I can throw in some extra bits and bobs if I have to, like my sunglasses or some chapstick and it's on a dry day or something like that. It's just easy. Like, it makes sense. <laughs> Women have purses, so why can't men at least have a fanny pack? You can call it a European mail sack. You can call it a sling. I don't care what you want to call it. I friggin' love this thing. 
So hopefully you got some value out of this video. If you found something that you like, head down to the description below. You can pick it up for yourself. But honestly, I'm digging it. Hope you guys are too.